Alright guys, this is some new shit I've been working on, but um, yeah, DoorDash is so bad right now, dude, it is even worse, I posted that last video, and it's been a few days, and those few days have been extraordinarily bad, 3 hours 45 minutes, I'm out tonight, it's the height of dinner shift on a Saturday, I'm going to all the hot spots, all the busy locations, one order, 18 bucks. Uh, not good at math off the top, but that would be, let's just say it's 3.5 hours. 3.5 hours, just to round it down. 5.14 an hour. Yeah, 5 bucks an hour, bro. What is this, 19.50? Like, you know, what gives, right? Busy as fuck. The restaurants, I asked them all, are you guys busy with DoorDash orders? They said, yes, we're really busy. Saturday night makes sense, right? You know, that $5 fee might have lowered the order volume by 20 or 30% or whatever they're saying. I believe that, but I don't believe it's as dead as it feels when you're out there because something else happened that really made it impossible for us to make any money doing DoorDash. And that is the thing I mentioned in the last video. The fact that they took away the top dasher program, they took away the scheduling. If there's too many people on the street, they would make sure that, you know, that there's enough orders to go around. So they would have you schedule for an open block um, or um, you wouldn't be able to go on DoorDash and deliver. They took that off. Now you can dash anytime, um, you know. Uh, like I said, uh, there's no priority access anymore for 50 or 70% acceptance rate. Um, so that's that's what killed it. Because think about it. So the order volume goes down 30%. Big deal. You know. Then you just got to be one of the people that's on the street. You either schedule a block or you're a top dasher so you can dash any time. Um, and then, you know, if you have the right... Stats, you strive to be that 70% top dasher, you get hit up with the orders, and then we'd still be getting plenty of orders to go around. I feel like the problem here, like I said, is the things I just mentioned. That's why every single restaurant I go to, you're going to see people idling out front with their hazards on. There's going to be people wandering around close to the entrance with their apps open. And like me, like now I'm just sitting in front of the store because it's no longer... Uh, sufficient to sit in your car within a hundred feet or so you got to get out and go straight up to the store but now I'm thinking like I said in the last video how you got to be next to that drop pin you know that was just an assumption I just thought that that was how it worked but I guess maybe it doesn't work like that because I go into the Ma Raja joint which is the hot spot twice consecutively it was the hot spot like four or five times tonight that I saw and so, when it was hot spot, I go over there and I'm literally like around the corner. So I pulled up there in like one minute. After that whole hot spot expired, it was the hot spot again for another ten minutes. And I was in the alley, which is closer to the drop pin than the front of the store where people go in to pick up the orders. So I'm waiting in the alley. I'm about sixty feet from the drop pin, right, which is inside of their kitchen or some shit like that. I know I'm the closest person to that shit, and I get service, and don't tell me like my app isn't working, I need to reset it or something, because I just got an order earlier, so clearly I'm able to receive orders. Um, nothing for those 20 minutes, I go around, I park on the street this time, on the front side, I get out of my car, I go into the lobby, I sit down, and then wait there, and uh... There's nobody else in there uh, waiting on orders. It's just me. I know I'm the closest one there. And I wait another 15 minutes and I get nothing. So I'm in there 35 minutes. So I asked the guy, are you guys busy? Like, let me ask you a question. Are you guys busy tonight for DoorDash? Can you tell me about how many orders you've had in the last half an hour? He's like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So he goes in 
he looks in the list, every single DoorDash order, and he said there's over 20 in the last half an hour. DoorDash only. You know, and they do Uber and they do Grubhub and they do, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they do multiple other delivery services as well. And they do pick uh, takeout and dine in. So you know they're fucking busy. <laughs> you know? $5 fee, like, it's not like everybody stopped ordering, bro. They're still fucking busy. It's a Saturday night. People are paying $5 fee, whatever. But I'm not getting orders. Why do? Why am I the one closest to the fucking pin? I'm in there 35 minutes, and I don't get a single one of the 20 orders that all popped up during the time I was there. That doesn't make any sense. I have service. The app's clearly working because I just got an order... You know, the hour before that. It's fucking stupid, bro. Anyways. <clears throat> I worked three hours, 45 minutes tonight. Went to all the hot spots. Asked all the people, are they busy? They all said, yes, we're busy. The pie place is busy. There's a sandwich place earlier that was busy. You know, I'm just not getting orders. And I think, I suspect more fuckery from DoorDash's end. It's, you know, I hate to be a conspiracy theorist, but, you know, they don't have a great track record. And clearly they didn't have to do that about taking away the Top Dasher program and the priority access and the scheduling thing. They didn't have to do that, but they did. And I think that they did it to to further agitate the frustration of the drivers in order so that there's a clear negative reaction and they can get the law repealed. That's the only reason that it makes sense for me to think about why they would do that. Otherwise, why would they do that? It was not a mistake. You know, I was talking to someone the other day about this. They said they heard that... Uh, it wasn't just the Seattle area that got hit with that $5 fee. That it was a mistake, but the surrounding areas also got hit with a $5 fee. So I don't know. I, I'm not speaking from experience. But if anyone's been on DoorDash ordering food from like Renton, Burien, or Bellevue, let me know. Do you have to pay a $5 fee? Anyways, um, that would make sense as to why there would be less... Uh, it would be less busy down in Burien like the other day. But anyway, so I did that day a few days ago. The next day I was out for nine hours because I'm trying to make enough deliveries this month to hit the top dasher for next month. And the way it's going, we have about four days left in February. It's not looking like I'm going to get there. I did one order today. I was out for nine hours yesterday. I got nine deliveries total, and that included like three maybe four batch, I think three batch orders. So that's three orders where it was a double, but, you know, it means I only got pinged that once. So you could really call that uh, six uh, orders that I got pinged to my phone six times in nine hours. I accept every single order now, without question. I don't even look where it's going, I just hit accept. So, uh, yeah, dude, I fucking made about $14 per hour, 13 or $14 per hour yesterday. So it was about 120, 125, 130 bucks, something like that. And, uh, yeah, nine hours, over nine hours. I was out all day and, uh, through the most busiest times and it was a Friday night and I was in Capitol Hill I was in downtown Seattle I was in you know the southern Seattle Rainier area uh, I was in Soto and also North Seattle I was in the U district and I was in uh, that's basically I was basically you know Capitol Hill though dude I'm in Capitol Hill it's like 7 o'clock on a Friday night, 7, 8 o'clock. 
that should be the busiest time to order for people getting food. And even late at night, too. I'm out there all the way until 10 o'clock in downtown Seattle, Capitol Hill. And I didn't get any orders for a whole hour in Capitol Hill. I'm driving around Capitol Hill for an hour. It's mad busy. There's, God, you know, how many dozen restaurants? Probably, you know, over 50 in the Pike and Pine area alone. You know, and then there's Broadway. And I'm going to every single place that used to be really popular back before this shit. I'm sure it still is. But for some reason, I'm just not getting orders. It's clearly not because they're not busy. They're busy as hell. I'm going everywhere I'm going. There's people coming in and out with their phones, getting orders, picking up orders. They're clearly got orders. I'm just not getting any of them. So I'm just trying to hammer this home to people. If you're watching this, I appreciate it because most people don't understand. There was a there's a Seattle Times article that came out today. They still didn't understand. Um, there was an article that was popped up on my news feed today on my phone. They didn't understand. Um, I listened to a podcast on NPR the other day. They didn't understand. Um, so I'm trying to tell people that the reason that we're not getting any money. And, well, first of all, I'm trying to tell people that I'm not making shit. It's not even, like, debatable, dude. It's, like, $5 an hour, bro. You know, $12, $13, $13, $14 an hour. Like, the minimum wage in Seattle now is 20 bucks an hour, okay? And remember that whatever we get paid, we you got to take out a big chunk of that from taxes, gas, car maintenance. I mean, yeah, I'm just trying to tell you that there's higher expenses for this, right? Because we pay for our gas and all that. You could just you know, think about gas, but the taxes, I mentioned that because the taxes are higher for the self-employed than it is for a W-2 or whatever, so I'm just trying to let you know that um, even if it if it says something like 2640 or whatever, the actual money you're going to be able to take home is going to be less than that, just to, if you didn't know that, just to be clear, and on, on the other hand, um, what was I going to say, on the other hand, uh, I'm trying to let people know that the reason uh, behind this is not the fact that there's a five dollar fee it's not the fact that there's more drivers on the road now it's solely the fact that doordash decided to take away the top dasher program and the scheduling feature in the app and any priority access for having good stats at all that's why i'm not able to get any orders that's why people are sitting out front of restaurants for 30 45 minutes with their hazards on that's why you know, I go into a restaurant that, and they say that they're super busy and they're getting 20 orders in the last 35 minutes and I haven't gotten a single one of them. The pay, if I was getting orders, would be phenomenal and I would not be complaining at all. I would be super happy to be able to make, to have that opportunity. And I'm sure everybody else would agree with me. But we're not going to make that money if we're not getting orders. And we're not getting orders because DoorDash has made, has reacted in such a way to make it nearly impossible for us to earn a living wage doing this job anymore. And DoorDash did so because the law that was passed to raise our salary, or you know, hourly minimum uh, rate required to pay the contract, you know, gig workers. So whose fault is it? I don't know. I mean, if they didn't pass the law, we wouldn't have to deal with this, you know. But the article I read today uh, on my app was saying that, oh, well, DoorDash didn't have to do that. Like, they are like, they were like a supporter of the law, and they were like, well, DoorDash didn't have to do that. It's like, well, what do you expect is going to happen? Like, sometimes, like, it amazes me how stupidly, like... It amazes me how they don't even think this shit through. When they're going to pass this law, they have, like, years to do it, right? They don't even think that the apps are going to raise their fees, that they're going to change things to make it harder to make money in the app. You don't think, like, <laughs> it's just so stupid that they would expect 
everything to just continue as normal and they're just going to have to pay us more now bro you don't think they don't have control over how much they can charge how much they can you know allocate orders and all that shit of course they do of course they're going to change it of course they're not going to be happy with it of course i just cannot believe that they didn't go through their heads all of these things that, that happen immediately following the law you know so i'm going to still say that it's the people that passed the law's fault for just being boneheaded and fucking dumb like, i'm sorry but like we all want more pay but like you have to understand that it's not as easy as just saying that they have to pay us more now they cut out the opportunity for us to receive orders um and therefore have made it impossible to make any kind of money doing this shit so take it from me i actually am out there waiting in front of these restaurants refreshing my app like every second and uh not getting any orders so yeah that's all i gotta say today peace